fight. Straight. Go, go ahead, Mal. Okay, so I'm good. I'm so I'm happy that someone else is on here defending Usyk because this is a, this is supposed to be a debate. It's supposed to be Team Usyk versus um, Joshua. Mm -hmm. It seems mm -hmm. like it's more Joshua <laughs> versus Usyk, which defeat the whole purpose. But that's neither here nor there. Um, um, I like the fact that um, me personally, of course, I got Joshua beating Usyk, but Usyk is a damn good fighter. He's not an Evander Holyfield, of course. He does have excellent footwork. Um, I, I I think that I think that we're going to see something different that neither one of us are going to expect. We're looking at what we mm -hmm. what we what we know from what we've seen from Usyk thus far, and we're looking at what Joshua looked like. He lost too much weight. But if he's six six two two thirty eight or two thirty five, that's really not that bad to be honest with you. It's all about how you can carry that weight. Um, and you know if he's not lifting heavy weight anymore, he's he's cut down on the muscle mass. And as long as he's still strong, I, I think I think it's really not a big deal to be honest with you. Um, timing, timing, yeah. and timing. If Anthony Joshua can time Usyk, he got him. He's going to get him out of there. If Usyk can um, figure out Anthony Joshua's timing um, and land more accurate punches and keep Joshua from mauling him, uh, mudding, you know, smutting him out, pressing him out, um, he can make it a long night for Joshua. So that's all I have to say. Um, and other than that, guys, peace. Mm -hmm. Nobody today, you Joshua have to fight is uh, you got a southpaw going against an orthodox. Uh, as far as the weight gain goes, well, it's easier to gain weight when you're six foot three. I'm six foot two. I weigh two twenty. I could draw. I could put on another five pounds. It wouldn't hurt me a bit. Uh, of course, I'm sixty nine. Maybe it might. <laughs> it might. But uh, when you're thirty, when you're thirty four years old, and uh, you're a southpaw, you've been fighting all your life. Uh, did great in the amateurs. I don't think it's going to really bother him. Might might give him a little bit more pop behind his punches. I don't know. He doesn't really box like a like a, a hard puncher. Uh, as far as uh, Anthony Joshua's weight gain, uh, loss goes, well, it's harder to lose weight than it is to gain it. So he's going to have to deal with that. Uh, of course, yeah. they have the time. Uh, he's an orthodox fighter. He's going to have a problem. He's got his southpaw in front of him. But he's a great puncher. And, and uh, I was watching both of them work out. Great work ethic. Both those guys are are really uh, uh -huh. uh, working hard. They're they're definitely totally serious, and so uh, this is yeah. going to be. I, I got to tell you, this is going to be a really interesting fight. And uh, the way I see it going, I see it going. Uh, Usyk starting off setting the pace, and uh, he's going to set the pace, but he's slowly going to sh sh slow down because he always does. Even when he was a cruiserweight, he slowly but surely he doesn't slow down that much, but he just slows down. And when he starts slowing down, uh, Anthony Joshua is going to slow down. We'll see who slows down the most because I think Joshua is going to start meeting him. He's the, the Uzik, Uzik isn't going to be able to get away from uh, Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua is a young guy. He's a strong guy. He's a big guy, and he's going to catch him. So uh, as far as more meaningful, meaningful punches, in my opinion, Anthony Joshua is probably going to get more meaningful punches. And uh, the outcome mm -hmm. will probably be 12 rounds. And I'm not going to, you know, I would say my, I'm just going to go ahead and speculate. But my, my guess would be a split decision for uh, meaningful, meaningful punches. In my opinion, Anthony Joshua is probably going to get more meaningful punches. And uh, the outcome mm -hmm. will probably be 12 rounds. And I'm not going to, you know, I would say my, I'm just going to go ahead and speculate. But my my guess would be a split decision for uh for or even a unanimous decision for uh, okay. Anthony Joshua. But I hate Agreed. I hate to make any kind of predictions. You know what I mean? I was up, of course. Oh, like uh, let's see. Um, all right, now that I thought about it off the top of my head, I'm going with a um, I'm going to, with a very controversial UD by Anthony Joshua. Probably going to go the distance. Um, I'm paying, I, of course, I'm picking them to win, but you know that's how I kind of see it going. It's probably going to be very cagey. 
very technical and um you know probably don't see any knockdowns being scored could be wrong but that's just how i see it going a very controversial maybe you did for joshua mm -hmm. great stuff so thank you for that official prediction we're gonna thank go you. with lee Ailes's official prediction my brother um, aj <laughs> my brother joseph my, my been chatting with you the other night my friend Always, always a pleasure. So we, we, we can't wait till you go live again, man. Looking forward to that. <laughs> God forward bless you, brother. Me too. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Lee. Official prediction. Um, I got a uh, AJ um unanimous decision or majority decision. Mm. Say that you got AJ what? Unanimous decision or majority decision because it's going to be a chess match. Okay. Indeed. Right. Okay, that's who's next? Who wants to go next? So I can solo the screen. Joseph, sorry. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, very yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, guys, don't don't be surprised if you see a less than scintillating action-filled fight on Saturday. Uh, in my opinion, the Usyk footwork, as well as his punch volume, his ability to flow, slide in and out of range fluidly, it's going to really disrupt the timing and rhythm of a very prolific counterpuncher like Anthony Joshua. You're going to see him uncharacteristically um, be gun-shy or have a hard time pulling the trigger, finding range against a chameleon like Usyk in the ring. And I'm with you guys. Um, it's going to be a very controversial either unanimous or split decision in favor of Anthony Joshua. And the only reason why it's going to favor Anthony Joshua is because he throws the more eye-catching, consequential punches. And that's customarily what the ringside judges look for when trying to determine the winner of a very hard-to-score, evenly matched round. Um, and that's one of the reasons why Canelo Alvarez always gets, seemingly gets, the close and, and uh, hard to score rounds in his fights as well. He throws the more eye-catching shots. That's gonna be the difference in a very awkward and very difficult chess match in the heavyweight division. I always thought it was because it was the A-side. Go ahead, Troy, or you want me to go? Go ahead, man. Okay, I, I think uh, I, I got AJ by by uh, split decision, but I see a flash knockdown in there for, uh, for AJ. I see uh, AJ catching Usyk off guard one time. You know, and I, and I do see a flash knockdown in there, but I, but but other than that, I see the rounds being kind of close, like Joe was saying, uh, where you where you see volume versus quality punching. I do see AJ working off the jab, walking him down a little bit, uh, Usyk using angles, and I can see a, I can see a right uppercut stunning Usyk a little bit and, and getting a good knockdown in the fight, and I and I got AJ edging it um, by 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 split decision. Great stuff. I'm gonna chop these all up. Yeah, just a couple of questions before I get my prediction. I've never seen Joshua in a controversial points win ever. And if yeah. Usyk and if Usyk could do all of that at cruiserweight, and, and I'm only bringing Holyfield up because he's compared to Holyfield, why hasn't why why is he moved so carefully at heavyweight? Because if you remember Holyfield, he fought Quick Tillis, then he jumped to Michael Dokes, and Michael Dokes was no joke. After that, it was top guys that he fought. You know, top guys after that. So why didn't Usyk jump from, you know, Witherspoon to like a Parker or a White or somebody like that? I mean, he kind of, kind of played it steady to me. But everything that everybody mentioned, the the brilliance, the distance, the this, the that, I don't see that. I just see a man who knows how to set the pace, and that's how he wins fights. Period. I don't see anything brilliant about him. He just knows how to set the pace against certain level fighters that could fight in one way. What you're looking at with AJ is a, is a gentleman that's been schooled to fight in multi-faceted ways. So I don't see all of this split decision stuff. I see him get knocked out in the ninth or tenth round. Right. Yes! Yeah, fight! <laughs>